Here's a quick summary of our recent gold analysis from Pure Elliott Wave. Since August 2020, gold has been in a huge consolidation, tracing out a resistance zone about 2047 to 2070 and a lower support zone a bit wider, about 1675 to 1615. It was swinging from resistance to support and back again with choppy overlapping movement for years and it's only very recently on the 1st of December that price closed to a new high breaking above resistance. During this time until very recently our analysis at Pure Elliott Wave had a bullish and a bearish count because it's impossible to say when price is in a consolidation is it definitely going to break upward or definitely going to break downward. Very unpopularly, I had judged the bearish Elliott Wave count to have a higher probability, but I had always provided a full bullish Elliott Wave count for our members at weekly, daily and hourly timeframes. On the 13th of October in here, both our Elliott Wave counts expected upward movement to continue. So at that point in time, and previously also in parts of this consolidation, but let's just start from the 13th of October, at that point in time, both of our Elliott Wave counts expected more upward movement. This was the bullish Elliott Wave count, and we had a target for a third wave at 2529 on that date. And the bearish Elliott Wave count expected quite a lot of upward movement to 1995 or above. Fast forwarded a little while until the 16th of October, and again, both Elliott Wave counts still expected upward movement to continue. On the 27th of November, this was our bearish Elliott Wave count and expected a new high above this point but not above this point for the bearish Elliott wave count to remain valid. At the daily time frame the Elliott wave count expected more upward movement to end above 2059.31 but not above 2065.89 while the bullish Elliott wave count was now starting to add further targets 2250 and 2529. The bullish Elliott wave count was expecting an upward breakout. On the 28th of November this was our main daily chart for the bullish Elliott wave count still expected expecting more upward movement and the bearish Elliott wave count still expecting more upward movement. On the 29th of November actually a little bit prior to that but by this date our classic technical analysis still favoured the bullish Elliott wave count. We were expecting as most likely by this time an upward breakout. The balance had shifted from favouring a bearish Elliott wave count to a bullish Elliott wave count based on classic technical analysis. And on the 1st of December, this was the only Elliott wave count we were publishing as the bearish Elliott wave count was invalidated. So you can go all the way back to the 13th of October and we were expecting this upward movement. We were expecting it was going to continue and shortly before the breakout, we anticipated an upward breakout as most likely. So even though we've generated quite a lot of controversy in having that bearish Elliott wave count during that consolidation, we did expect an upward breakout before it happened and we did expect that upward movement in this last upward swing along the way up for both Elliott wave counts. So if you could have profited from this kind of Elliott wave analysis, which is objective, tries to offer a balanced and impartial view of the markets, then click on the link below and check out our subscription for gold five times a week with a video at the end of the week.